Hello YouTube, um, this is me again. Um, one of the things I do at work is I I am an architect at a company and I uh, work mostly in Java and being working mostly in Java I'm a huge fan of Google and one of the technologies I use a lot is GWT and GWT is an amazing technology if you don't know about it go look it up you can program extremely powerful user interfaces on the browsers that are cross-browser compatible and you don't have to know JavaScript, you just need to know Java. Um, which really helps us because countless reasons, I don't have to hire a JavaScript developer and a Java developer. I can just hire a Java developer and he can do amazing websites. Alright, uh, but recently I've noticed that GWT has this thing called UI, UI binding. And it, it excited me, but um, I had built something way back when um, that I thought was a little cooler. And let me explain the difference. UI binding is this technology that GWT has that you can use HTML to uh, structure your page and put special tags in there that put the GWT widgets in there. And that's great. That's a big step forward. You know, nobody likes to do formatting in your Java code. But it has a big disadvantage. Um, from what I've read so far, it's a compile time feature. What I would, <coughs> I have a need where, let, let's take a subset of that need. Um, I want my business people to make forms um, or UIs without interacting with development, without requiring compilation, without um, requiring deployments. So what I did was I came up with a templating technology and it looks like it's kind of similar to the UI binding with the one major difference of you don't have to compile. It just works. Let me walk you through it. Here's the website of the demo that I put up. This is a demo I made at home. I didn't want to use the same code I used for work so I rewrote it. And uh, let me walk you through it. Over here are some examples that I pre-made for you and you won't know my syntax and then you hit this bend on the fly and you can see it immediately made um, some HTML or a form so I can go up here and say what is your name and boom now I won't have the business people type in HTML the vision is I have some type of UI that they can drag and drop things some HTML editor kind of a thing Let's say they wanted to make another question, right? You just take the question, bring it down here. Let's put a BR. And let's say, what is your last name? Right? Nothing, nothing amazing, interesting. And immediately, ooh, if you guys play with this, you'll notice this. You can only have one, all the IDs have to be unique. So I had to change the ID. So there you go. There's your form. I have some other examples in here. This uses the GXT sortable table widget. So I can put values in here. Here's a date field. You know, this supports date field, text areas, everything. You make a new row. You know, anybody who works with GXT or GWT knows that you can make really fast things really quickly. You know, then again, uh, so here we go. Let's say I wanted to remove a column. Let's try to do that and see I removed a column. Now let's say I'm going to put it at the end because that's where I want it. And I'm going to change the thing from middle name to um, zip code. And there you go. So really fast. If you notice that there's a delay, it's because, what I, because the sortable table is the slowest of all the widgets that I've ever done and what it actually does is render the entire form then on a separate thread it actually delays a, a, a couple milliseconds and then delay and then um, and then populates the table so let me just show you like how we could add two tables real quick we have to change the ID and there we have two tables on the fly. I didn't have to compile. I didn't have to do anything. Um, this one's kind of cool. It's called a detailed table. You can highlight a row. 
you can populate some information over here in the detailed section and you can update the row <laughs> my wife is uh, trying to stop me from talking and um, you can you know make new rows you can update the row and when you switch between the rows you can um, see the data values change now uh, let me show you the submit box you know this was this would be what's submitted to the server it's a name value pair um, XST you can type in values and there's the value and this is dynamic if I added another field to this uh, let's add another field and we'll call this one text uh, two right and we put a b and I hit it now you see that b and a have their values with their names some fun stuff I have some hidden things where you can hid uh, hide them like that this also shows off you can put things with inside containers um no, there's simple date picker. You know, nothing amazingly fancy about a date picker. Um, attachments. This I built myself. You can do multiple attachments um, without using Flash. It's very cool. Again, the power of uh, GWT. And then the final example is just to show you how much it can do and how fast it can do it. And again, you can see the complexity of how the submit button works. So I hope you like this. If you know anybody from GWT or Google, please pass this along. I'll put the link in the underbar. Thank you.